Hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. This week's tutorial is about sampling kick drums from a multitrack session. Okay, my friend Matik uh, sent me some uh, kick samples and he wants to make them into multi-velocity samples and uh, I will show you how to do that. Uh, in the beginning here, we have a session beginning with these single hits, with, uh, which are we, which we are going to use because we can get the samples from something like this. So what we will do is that we will take out these double pedal hits like this. And next, what we will have to do is to separate these regions and uh, in Cubase there is this function called uh, strip silence but first we will align the audio so that they are in phase so we will take the snap off and uh, now they should be in phase let's check quickly yep and if we will check the last one yep so we should be ready to go to find the strip silence go to audio advanced detect silence this is very similar to the strip silence in Pro Tools you will just grab here and drag down and it will zoom closer and then put some pre-roll so that as we can see it's if we try like five milliseconds and let's then first you have to set threshold of course it was 20 something and now it's not detecting any of the peaks. If we go here, it detects the hard samples. And if we go down here, it uh, detects all the hits that we have. So let's have about 300 milliseconds per hit for length. And uh, let's try the five milliseconds first for the free roll if it's not enough. Then we will just go back and uh, check what works better. And then click uh, Add as Region, Strip Silence and Process All Selected Events. And now they are all different events. And let's check. And they are close enough. Uh, what we will do next is take this snap and they begin at the same spot and then we will do the same thing for the rest of the samples i will cut the video here and do this okay welcome back so now i have sliced all the regions and they all now have a nice clean start and ending and what we will do now is uh, press uh, command a and select all and then we will put a small fade in just to get rid of uh, any puffs or clicks and uh, then have a, a bit longer fade out like so so since we pressed uh, command a it's on all the regions so we don't have to do it separately for everything Uh, but uh, then the next phase is something that I haven't found any faster solutions. If you know any, uh, please let me know. So what we will have to do now is I suggest that you make a new key command for this. Uh, so go to File, Key Commands, and then there is Bounce. I tried out my keyboard and my uh, letter A which is Scandinavian A, uh, 
was free, so I set the bu so. But if you don't have it, uh, you will do it like this. Select the key. You see which one is not in use, and then you see ah, that's free. Then click assign, and then just press OK. So what we will do next is press that key, and then it asks replace event. Say yes. Next one. Next one, and do this for all the clips. I will do them now and stop the video. And this is the last one. Okay, now I have them uh, all as new regions that have fade in, fade out, and they are also audio files when you go to pool. You can see them here, kick in, and they have a number after that. If you don't, if you already know, they are in the audio files folder, and what you then just need to do is take those files out and uh, put them somewhere where you want them to be. If you use a drama gog or slate trigger, and then just use that uh, I think it's called trigger say instrument editor. You just uh, import the audio files here. Uh, mine are at select directory and go to music, Cubase projects, kick sampling, audio, and my files are here. And when I go there open, I have all the files here. So then I just go and select the files like this and they should be now in those and you just like select 20 rows if you want like super many let's try it again like that and they are now in the and then just select if this is like 126 or if you want to have them so that it's just changing different samples depending on what you have you take like five rows or four rows and then five per each and have them like this and they are now there so then just save the instrument and then you have a new trigger instrument so that is how you make new slate trigger instrument from a uh, sampling session from multi tracks and thank you for watching and make good music